Welcome to Dietics, Nutrition, Prosthetics, and Orthotics. These are all essential services despite their unpopularity. These courses aim to promote and ensure a healthy and fit community that combats minor and complicated health illnesses and offers services that gives hope to people with disabilities. First and foremost, let's familiarize ourselves with these courses. Nutrition is the science of foods and their components, including the relationship with health and diseases. Furthermore, it describes the processes that occurs within the body and assists individuals in staying fit by developing an appropriate eating plan. Dietetics, on the other hand, is a study of nutrition in a clinical setting. Meanwhile, prosthetics and orthotics is a course devoted to the rehabilitation of movement disabilities and neuromuscular disorders. In the Philippines, however, these courses are unpopular because Filipinos believe that healthcare is expensive and is only available to the wealthy. Most people in the middle and lower classes cannot afford a six-figure tuition fees, especially if scholarships are not available. As a result, young people prefer to enroll in courses such as business, doctoral studies, engineering, and a range of other popular programs that promise outstanding potential pay and higher social demands. However, while dietetics, nutrition, prosthetics, and orthotics are not popular courses in the Philippines, the opposite is true in countries like United States, United Kingdom, and Australia, which are also excellent places to study the said courses. In the United States, many colleges provide bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in nutrition and dietetics. So, how can we increase enrollment rates of these courses in the Philippines? First, institutions such as schools should invite registered dietitians to provide lectures or seminars to the target students, particularly senior high school students. Second, the Department of Education should promote the courses to the younger generations through creative social media gimmicks. Finally, Normalize a healthy lifestyle by acquainting the people with nutritional fairs, offering free nutritional diet consultations, and providing government incentives such as lower tax rates for restaurants that offer healthier menu options. Here's some great news. Many medical schools, namely the University of the East Roman Magsaysay Memorial Medical Center College, or UERMMMC, offer scholarship relating to the courses prosthetics and orthotics. Inquire.net announced that 305 out of 528 candidates passed the Nutritionist Dietitian Licensure Exam in October 2021. These courses are necessary because they aid in the guidance of people, particularly those on weight loss or disease management diet. According to Business Mirror, around 27 million Filipinos are overweight and obese. The latest survey of the Department of Science and Technology's Food and Nutrition Research Institution, or DOST-FNRI, showed. Likewise, it is projected that more than 30% of the Filipino adolescents will be overweight and obese by 2030. Furthermore, a dietitian keeps track of her progress and develops a weekly or monthly meal to help you recover faster, avoid, control, and even reverse certain lifestyle diseases. In short, professionals in this field are better at determining what type of food is best for our body and condition to reduce the chance of developing health problems. These courses can also aid in developing a nation as education is the foundation of our country's destiny. These services led to cost savings and significant improvements in adherence to the nutritional care plan. With the nutritionist guidance, one may avoid spending money on unhealthy choices, opt for healthy and nutritional food. A person would then be able to live healthily with a balanced diet while saving money and being wise. Enrolling in these classes is a good idea because it will show us how Information, technology, 
understanding social attitudes or improve economic issues such as food price and income influence people's eating choices. The assistance of these courses has an impact on one's nutrition and health. These courses would assist the people of this country in reducing illness and mortality while also providing variety of economic benefits such as lower medical and institutional costs, increase productivity, improve quality of life, and increase life expectancy.